Hello, I'm X XP Comp XP, and today I'm going to be telling you that I'm thinking of making a, re making a rebirth out of this channel because I've just been making videos randomly, and I'm, I'm telling you I have not been making enough videos. So it's new rules. I'll be making new, new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So that's pretty good. So you can know when to expect my videos. Oh, so. And I'll try, I'm trying to lean more to GIMP tutorials and Photoshop and actually computer tutorials on how to do cool things on your computer other than customization, customizing your PC. But other than that, hello, I'm XP Convex Queen. Hello, welcome to another exciting GIMP tutorial. And today I'll just be showing you how to make a picture like this. Oh, wait, no, wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> Isn't that kind of embarrassing? Like this? All you have to do is just go to Google and just Google screen resolution and just come to the first site. Forget that. Web trust it's bad. And double tell to your screen resolution right here. So remember that. And just load that up into GIMP. I already have it right here. A new image, 1024 by 768. That's good. And now I'm just going to want to fill the background with black. And now, just select the color. I recommend blue. As you can turn, as you can see, it turned out really good on my channel. And. You can, you can go to my channel and check that out. Blue is good for everything. Oh, and on the desktop. I've left a really dark blue now as my background color. Sort of a violet, but... I don't know. Filters, render, nature, flame. And you'll get this option menu right here. Click edit. Turn this up to random. Turn the speed up way up. I'll click randomize until you see one you like. This is good. And just keep on clicking on the ones you like. Until you find one that's decent. Alright, this is good. Uh, turn the brightness up. The contrast. And the gamma. Zoom in with the camera. And press OK. Now remember this can take a while so I'm going to pause the recording right now. Alright, I am back and this turned out good. And all I have to do, all I have to do now is slap on some text and you're fine. I'll use the same font I used in the one over here on my desktop. Birth of a Hero. Very good font. I recommend it. Good for logos and such. Write your name. And you're done. Boom, bada bing. You got a desktop logo. Whoosh. Wrong layer. <laughs> If you're gonna put it down here, remember make sure that you don't put it down here so it so it doesn't get cut off of the taskbar. That happened to me once, but put it all the way up here if you wanna, or up here, or down here. Well, that's basically it. And you should check out Mega Apple Maniac's channel. He's having a giveaway for for a Mac book, which is really good. I entered myself. You might as well enter too. His the link for his channel will be somewhere in an annotation here. So I guess I'll see you guys, and I'll see you next Saturday with another tutorial. 